Hi and welcome to Quirky Books with Katie. Today I'm going to be doing my Christmas book haul. So before I start I just wanted to say that December 25th is my two year anniversary here on YouTube and I wanted to thank all of you guys so much just for watching my videos and for keeping up with me. I appreciate it so much. I'm so glad that I joined this community two years ago and I wanted to thank all my friends that have supported me in this. And second, I got new filming lights for Christmas so hopefully this video looks a little brighter. I'm still filming at night but I'm going to play around and see if these filming lights can help increase my video quality. So now I'm going to get started with the books I got for Christmas. The first book that I got is Slammed by Colleen Hoover. This book is a new adult about a girl who moves to a new town and she gets a love interest and it's centered a lot around slam poetry which is something I really enjoy. I have already read this book and it is one of my favorite books of the year and whenever I read a book I really like I always want to own a physical copy of it so I'm very glad that I got a copy of this book for Christmas. The next book that I got is Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rush. This is a 2014 debut novel. It is a fantasy about, I think, different kingdoms that are based on a se different seasons. I've heard a lot of really good things about this, and I have been getting really into fantasy lately, so hopefully I will enjoy this book. Next is Even in Paradise by Chelsea Philpott. This is another 2014 debut and this one has kind of been described as a contemporary retelling of Gatsby, I believe. This one has been getting some kind of mixed reviews, but the good reviews that I have seen have been absolutely amazing. There's just something that I think about this book that I'm really going to enjoy. I might save it to read in the summertime or I might read it soon. I'm not really sure, but if you've read this book, let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below because I really want to know what you guys think of it. Next is Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Delera. This is another book that I read this year and absolutely adored. This book is about a girl named Laurel and her sister has recently passed away and Laurel must deal with this devastating loss. This author I believe was mentored by Stephen Chbosky so a lot of people compare this to Perks of Being a Wallflower and I just love this book so much. It was a very honest and realistic depiction of grief. And the last book that I received for Christmas is The Blood of Olympus by Rick Riordan. In case you guys did not know, this is the last book in Rick Riordan's Heroes of Olympus series. I'm really sad that I haven't read this yet, and this series means so much to me because I have been keeping up with the character of Percy Jackson since I was in sixth grade. So I'm really excited to see how the series ends. I haven't heard the best things about this book, so I'm a little worried, although I'm sure I'm going to enjoy it because I love Rick Riordan. So even though I only received those books for Christmas, I also received a few other bookish related things that I'm going to show you guys. Now the next few things I'm going to show you guys are actually adaptations. The first is BBC's version of Persuasion by Jane Austen. I really love Jane Austen and BBC really makes some amazing adaptations. This one is obviously about Persuasion and this one is a movie and I have seen it and I really enjoy it. Next is BBC's version of Emma. This is my favorite Emma adaptation that I've seen. I also, I believe, have seen the version with Gwyneth Paltrow, and I've also watched Emma Approved here on YouTube, and I love that adaptation. This one, though, is so in detail and in-depth and really stays true to the book. And not, last but not least is the Colin Firth version of Pride and Prejudice. This adaptation is often seen as the best adaptation of Pride and Prejudice, and I would have to agree. This is about 8 to 10 hours of just Pride and Prejudice and its goodness. I really enjoy the Kira Knightley version, but this one just looks at every single detail of the book. It just portrays the book so well, and if you haven't seen this adaptation, please pick it up. You will not be disappointed if you do. So these are the books that I received for Christmas. If you guys have read any of these, then please let me know in the comments down below. I hope all of you guys had a wonderful holiday. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you again soon.